Okay, we're live. Good morning, Internet. This is Alex the Sudokus, and it is Friday, the 30th of July, 2021. And we're going to do today's New York Times Hard Sudoku. Um, I'm away from home at the moment. So the stream setup may be a bit fidgety, but hopefully it is okay. It is acceptable. So let's do today's Sudoku. Now, can we see everything? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to use Snyder notation. Just making sure that's the hard puzzle. Um, what have we got? We've got a pair of ones over here. We've got three over here. Oops. A pair of threes up top. Threes. Okay, we should put a two over here. A pair of twos over here. We also have a pair of fives here. And anything else? Okay, anything else on the twos? Yes, we have T junction here, which forms a pair of twos and fours, which means this is now a three, five, six, triple. Depends mark those in, because that gives me a three. And apologies if my hand is brushing across the microphone and uh, making a lot of loud noises. Um, Okay, pair of twos over there. Anything else? Not that I can see. Okay, I can see a four over here though. So let's look at the threes and the fours. I think the threes are all pencil marked in besides in this box because it can be in three different positions and it's not forming a part of a triple. So we're going to focus on the fours now. We have another four over here, which locks the one and four together, meaning these are fives and sevens, which can be resolved because of the five down here. And the fives are over here as well. Seven. Can't see any sevens. Eights are over here. Um, and here. F8. You okay? Am I in the way? No, no, no. Um, another pair of eights over here, thanks to the pointing pair of eights looking down. Hi, Stephen. No, no work today. I'm away from home as well, so my timing is going to be a bit off. How are you? Are you working? Um, nines. I have nines over here, nines over here, and okay, so that's one round of notations. Yeah, my schedule is going to be off for the next three days, including today. I'll be back to normal on Monday. Um, and it's a different setup entirely as well with the webcam. Um, hopefully not seeing up my nostrils from this webcam. Yeah, I'm waiting for the build server to get finished. Oh. So I'm guessing what you mean by that is someone is actually spinning up a server that you will put your built um, code to put, you're pushing your built code to. Because I, whilst I've um, dabbled in Node.js, I haven't actually kind of like worked in a professional environment. So basically my built server and my production server are the same and uh and i don't even know for sure if my terminology is correct with the build server i just know production is live basically and i'm guessing build is when you're still testing that's my guess but correct me if i'm wrong please um do we have a naked single here in this corner because i can see one three four five six i'm missing a two and a seven well that's just not very cash money is it um in which case, hmm, I'm going to look at the weak area some more, because this is technically a weak area. What is this weak area? This is 279 and 6. 2679. Okay, 6 and 9 there. 7 and 9, so that's 2 and 6. And 2. Okay, so, morning, Jojo Gaming. No, I've queued, oh, you've queued, queued a build to run. Can't continue until it's built. I thought we'd expect, what? 
That is mad. 45 minutes for a build. That must be some seriously huge bit of software. Because my build usually takes like 30 seconds. But of course I built really basic web apps. How are you, Jojo Gaming? Um, I'm away at the moment. So I'm using my laptop. Which means I have no mouse. You can't see my mouse moving around. So I have to use my cursor. So, but I did spend three months, three or four months doing Sudokus this way. So I think it should be fine. Uh, once it's built, I need to generate a patch to pass off to the tester to test, then update the documentation before the patch can go to the client. Ooh, that is professional development right there. Oh, good working, not very <laughs> as evident by you being here. Uh, what have we got on this column? We've got one, eight, seven, and six. One, six, seven, and eight. Got one up there. Six, seven, and eight. It's no good. What about this row? We've got six, eight, nine. Okay, just six, eight, and nine. Okay. We can't see six or nine. So I don't think we're getting much out of this. The final place would be here, which is one, two, seven. One, two, five, and seven. I've got one and five there, leaving me two and seven, which I already knew. It's a thing. So we haven't actually gotten... I'm just going to do another scan to make sure that there are no additional numbers that I can place now. Because wouldn't that be annoying? Uh, nearly got excited thinking, because um, this is technically the T-junction, and usually that makes um, nice and easy overlaps. So, ones... I've got one with the eight, so do I have a third number here? One eight. No. So the other numbers are either in the cell or already penciled. So one and eight in three cells, that's not useful. Ones. Nothing else on the ones. Twos. Two's not super restricted, I have to say. Two, 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 two. Threes, threes, threes. Oh, I really want to. I need to get another tissue. Yeah. Back. I'm going for going for kitchen towels. <laughs> It's fairly big software, yes, around 4 million lines of code. Holy crap, holy crap. This must be a big client. Um, how do you even count, like, the lines of code? Like, do your software just do that for you? Because it's over how many files, is it? Um, four, 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 five, five. Hold on, I've got a pointing set of fives looking down here and sixes, so I should pay more attention and notice that there's a six sitting right here and the fives are locked in these two. No, hold on, five can't go there because I've got a pointing pair of fives there and the pointing five basically locks five in place. So that gives me a pair of fives over here. Sixes are locked in three cells. Not very useful right now. Oh, I have kind of sixes over there as well. So how did I miss that? Six. Nothing on the threes. Okay, we've got quadruple as well on here. In fact, before I tackle the quadruple, oh, this is eight and nine, so they, they don't go just yet. Okay, I'm gonna pass mark in the sixes over there as well. Um, so this is one, one, seven, eight, and nine. So this is one in seven. In fact, what is this now? One, seven, and one, two, and seven. Well, twos can't go in these two cells because of the two here and the two there. So I just solved the two, leaving me with one and seven. Okay, that's fine. Let's have a look at two. We can unlock a two over here. And does that bring us joy with the six, seven, and nine? Yep, oh, no. Six is here now because I've got seven and nine on this six, seven, nine triple. So that can't be six anymore. Leaving me with seven and nine. 
Okay, now this is a quadruple of one, three, five, and six. We've got three and six. One, three, one, three, and six overseas this time because I've got one, six, and three there. So that must be a five. Wait a second. Wait a second. Six is not part of it. Six is not part of it. It's one, three, five, and eight. So I've got one and three, leaving me five and eight over here. Um. I don't think I've got much going on at the moment. So you have a tool that counts it. So built something, write a program to count how much programming you're doing. That is just the life of programming, isn't it? Let's place a market date in these ones and sevens because um, I think we're ready to finish up this puzzle. Maybe, maybe. Um, two, four. I think there's a pair of fours over here. Seven and nine being seven. Um, let's just. I just do some some more scanning and see if we can, we can find more numbers. Two threes. Threes. Oh yeah. Threes are now locked up here. Four. Also pointed not to anywhere specific. Five. Six. Oh, yes. Pointing pair six is there. So we just unlocked a six. So, yeah, this six and that six unlocked a pointing pair sixes, removing that. And with that six in place, we are left with three and five. Not very useful. Um, just under 25 thousand java files a handful of other language too Perl, ruby some python some shell a bit of javascript i'll consider a medium large project not on the level of say office on the operating system but larger than the average tool what does it do what does it do that is um there's a big chunky chunky program if i have to say so i would never i'll never be in a situation to make something like that I do wonder how it compares to video games as well, because like I bet video games are quite big, even if they're not um, operating systems. I bet they are larger than usual. They're larger than live. I'm trying to see if there's a triple here, but I don't think so. So the five and eight are locked in these cells. No, there isn't anything else. Um, what's on this row? Three, four. Three, four, seven, and nine. Seven and nine is there. Nope, that's no use. I, I'm a bit out of, out of sorts. I'm definitely not working out, making the correct deductions. So I'm being extremely slow right now. Um, let's look at the nines, okay. How are we on the nines? Yes, on the nines, we've got a pair of nines over here. Pointing nines. There must be more we can do with the nines, right? Well, I guess not. Nothing else I can do on the nines. So that's everything. So I think um, we can do a second scan of the weak areas. It manages some kind of secured landing for banks. Okay, I can see how vital that is. I saw... Um, Funny enough, I saw a um, sysadmin post yesterday on Reddit. One, six, eight, and seven. One, six, eight, and seven. So this, this is one and eight. Now, let's think about this. One, six, eight, and seven. Do we need to do some pencil markings? One, six, eight, and seven. Because I've got one and eight here. I've definitely seen a one. I've got one and eight over here as well. But I feel I've seen another one in eight earlier as well. I think I'm lying to myself there. One, six, eight, and seven. I don't think I'm going to find anything else. Um, This is two, four, nine, and... One, two, four, nine. One, two, four, nine. So this, this is one in four because I've got two and nine over here. And it's one, two, four, and nine on the column. So that being one and four, I've got a triple of five, eight, and seven on this row. 
which doesn't do anything, does it? Five, eight, and seven. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Um, what's this again? One, two, four, and nine. So I've got two there. But there's no nine. So this is one, four, and nine. Hmm. Why don't I pencil mark in the ones, the fours, in this box, and I think sevens as well. Okay. So now this box is pencil marked in, but this can't be a one, right? Because of the one, four pair. That means there's a pointing pair of ones now within this box. So the ones could only go in these three cells, but I've got a one in four pair there. Therefore, this is not a one. So that forms a pointing pair of ones, gives me a pair of ones down here. May be useful, may not be. Um, does that do anything for the sevens? I don't think it does, but I'm going to pencil mark in this box as well. Sevens are here, nines are up top, and I'm missing a five, which are over here. So five and seven are sharing cells, but then the eight and the nine also got involved in the mix. Not very useful. And finally, this can't be, so this is two and nine. So I should pencil mark in the twos as well. What else is here? Seven. So seven can comfortably live in these cells. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So everything is pencil marked in, in these here boxes, in a cross shape. Okay. Definitely not one of the easiest puzzles. Um, This is one and eight, isn't it? No, one and eight is up here. What is this? This is one, seven and eight. It's not very useful. No, hold on, it can't be an eight. We've already established it can't be an eight. <gasps> what does that mean? This is oh, one, six, eight, one, six, seven, and eight. So one, this is one, six, or seven then. It's not actually that useful. Um, one, six, seven, and eight. So this is one and eight. Should I pencil mark in some eights? I think it is time we do some general pencil marking because um, I'm just not seeing what I'm supposed to be getting out of this puzzle. Uh, hold on, this is a quadruple. Let's see. Um, three, four, five, and seven. No, three, four, seven, and nine. So this is seven and nine. Oh, that's a seven, nine pair on this row. How did I miss that? Because this has got three and four. This is seven and nine. And I've already got seven and nine here, which means these are threes and fours, but this can't be a three. So if it's just solved the three and a four, that leaves me five, eight, seven and nine in this box. But seven and nine can't go there. Five, eight, seven, nine, four numbers. So five, seven and nine overseas itself. So this must be an eight. Right. Five, seven, Eight and nine. Yeah, there has to be an eight. So these can't be eight anymore. These are now five. Oh, and this must be a five now because it's five, seven, and nine. That leaves me <clears throat> with seven and nines in here. And there's another seven and nine over there. Okay. Now we've got some momentum because we've got one and eight as a matching pair here. I'm locking the three and a six. That means seven and nine are pointed downwards. So this can't be seven or nine, which opens up the five now, I think. Because it's five, seven, nine, and eight, and I can see an eight over here. So this is now five. Oops, get rid of that five. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, pointing five, yeah, this is the only five left in the box. Another five. So we should be able to do all the fives now. 
Where is the remaining five? Oh yes, five and three over here resolved. So, okay. Um, I can solve row three, one and eight. Uh, oh yeah, because I've got pointing pair of eights. So one and eight, thank you very much. So this can't be a five. So this is five, seven, eight, which means this is the six. And with a six in place, we can place another six there. And it's all the sixes. Yes, that's all the sixes. Okay, this can't be an eight anymore. So eight and two are resolved, leaving me with seven and one. One and seven here. And I knew there was a one and seven there before. Okay, so let's move around the grid a little bit. I'm sure there's something else I can solve now. But I've forgotten which numbers I've placed. So I don't think the ones are any use. What about the twos? Did the twos do anything for us? No, the twos are locked as an X wing. Fours. Fours. Fours are not particularly cash money. Five. Five, five, five. Fives are all done. Okay, I should be looking at seven, 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 seven. Still nothing. Oh, we got eight over here. So that leaves me one and four, one, seven and nine, which unlocks the seven and nine pairs around the grid. This is now seven and one, which unlocks the one over here. So this can't be one anymore. Um, okay, feels like something else should solve now. Oh yes, this has to be a four now, which means I've got a seven here, which unlocks the nine, seven, oops, eight, eight over here and a nine. So eight has to go here, one has to go there. So four is already done, so two and four. And this has to be a two, this has to be a nine, and this has to be a seven. And that's today's New York Times Sudoku.